Hello students today we will recite the poem life doesn't frighten me at all written by maya angelo so first of all we should know something about maya angelo that Ma, she was a very famous american poet and she was born on uh, 4th april 1928 and died on 28th ap may 28th may 2014 She was a very famous poet, storyteller, activist and autobiographer, autobiographer. And uh, she published seven autobiographies, three books of essays, several books of poetry and is credited with a list of plays, movies and television shows spanning over 50 years. Now, here is before starting the poem, we should know that what is poetry? and what is stanza what is poetry some poetic elements you should know so what is poetry poetry is a type of literature based on interplay of words and rhythm it often employs rhythm and meter what is meter meter is a set of rules governing the number and arrangement of syllables in each line in poetry words are strung together to form sounds images and ideas that might be too complex or abstract to describe directly now what is a stanza in poetry a stanza is a division of four or more lines having a fixed length meter or rhyming scheme now what are rhyming words rhyming words are two or more words that have the same or similar ending sounds some examples of rhyming words are goat boat moat float coat etc now we will recite the poem now what is the meaning of recite recite means to repeat aloud or declaim a poem or passage from memory before in front of the audience so here we are going to re- uh, recite the poem first i will recite it in a slow manner so that you can repeat it so now the poem is life doesn't frighten me at all okay so first i will recite it in a very slow manner shadows on the wall noises down the hall life doesn't frighten me at all bad dogs barking loud big ghosts in a cloud life doesn't frighten me at all mean old mother goose lions on the loose they don't frighten me at all dragons breathing flame on my counter pain that doesn't frighten me at all i go boo make them shoo i make fun way they run i won't cry so they fly i just smile they go wild life doesn't frighten me at all tough guys fight all alone at night life doesn't frighten me at all panthers in the park strangers in the dark no they don't frighten me at all that new classroom where boys all pull my hair kissy little girls with their hair in curls they don't frighten me at all don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream if i am afraid at all it is only in my dreams i have got a magic charm that i keep up my sleeve i can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe life doesn't frighten me at all not at all not at all life doesn't frighten me at all now here is a quick reading quick recitation of this poetry this poem shadows on the wall noises down the hall life doesn't frighten me at all 
Bad dogs barking aloud, big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose, lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. That doesn't frighten me at all. I go boo, make them shoo. I make fun, way they run. I wouldn't cry, so they fly. I just smile, they go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Tough guys fight, all alone at night. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Panthers in the park, strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. That new classroom where boys all pull my hair. Kissy little girls with their hair in curls. They don't frighten me at all. Don't show me frogs and snakes. And listen for my scream. If I am afraid at all, it is only in my dreams. I have, a, I have got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Life, do- not at all, not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Here, we can see that there are nine stanzas in this poem. Nine stanzas in this poem. And the rhyming schemes are wall, hall, all. In second stanza, rhyming scheme is loud, cloud. And then there is a refrain. You can see here that life doesn't frighten me at all. This line has been repeated again and again in after many stanzas. So this is known as the refrain. Okay. Okay. Now the summary of the uh, summary of this poem. So who is the speaker of the poem? Writer we know that the writer of this poem is Maya Angelou. But who is the speaker of this poem? The speaker of the poem is a little girl who is 8 to 12 year old and she is a girl. How do we know that she is a girl? Because in the uh, in the poem we find out when she says the, that uh, boys all pull my hair. No. So in, at that point we know that the speaker is a girl. And uh, this is a now the setting of the poem. So the setting of the poem is a house or some type of building and when the speaker says that what is happening inside the house, noises and shadows, when she talked about all these things, it means that inside she is talking about the inside, what is going on inside of the house. And when she says the barking dogs and the ghosts in the cloud they are uh, uh, representing or they are there, so she tells us that what is happening outside the house. So, so there are shadows on the wall creating strange figures, perhaps moonlight through tree branches. And beyond her room door, she uh, beyond her room door, she can hear the noises which she can't quite, she can't uh, quite make out. Do these things frighten her? Yes. No. Sorry. No. <laughs> these things doesn't frighten her. They might have done at one time, but not now. Uh, down the street, she can hear those rough dogs barking again what are they so noise about and in the big cloud close to the moon she can see a phantom a ghost not one but several all folded up and looking weird but is she fearful no because she's not i'm not afraid at all because she's saying that i'm not afraid at all what about mother geese she of nursery rhyme fame um, quite a mean creature deep down and those lions and run, ferocious beats, beats, they are. They could play havoc in your imagination. They are spread across the bed and you are about to go to sleep in. Scared? We feel, yes, we feel scared. But the, uh, the speaker, the little child, she is not afraid at all. There are other images on your bed spread. Fiery dragons, breathing flames. What if you catch fire? That would be frightening. So, but the speaker says that no, I am not frightened at all. In fact, the speaker in the poem turns the tables and becomes proactive. She shouts, boo. She makes them scared. Scared enough to vanish, uh, to vanish every last one of them. In real world outside her window, there are guys. They are fighting. She knows that they are tough alone in their own violences in their own violence this doesn't frighten this also doesn't frighten her 
because he says that uh, it doesn't frighten me at all even panthers in the park don't frighten her and strangers strange fox lurking in the dark they also it doesn't make her frightened now when she thinks about her school when the child the girl thinks about her school about those boys who pull her hair which is a bit different to the other girls here she is not afraid of them also and then we fight we find that uh, she tells us there are some boy the same boy boys who pull her hair not to show her frogs and snakes have they already tried this trick to make her in the fear or is she merely imagining the scenario but whatever the going on she says that i am not frightened at all why because she has a strategy a magic charm a mantra it's a powerful enough to let her walk on the ocean floor what an image what an image this image sums up the whole message of the poem anything is possible if you can conquer fear means she has a charm she has a magic charm a mantra that is anything is possible in the world if you know that how to fight with your fear so the speaker the child the girl convinces herself that nothing life can throw at her nothing her imagination conjures of can truly frighten her her brave and strong stance stance will prevail courage is best one question does remain and possibly we will need working out that is it necessary to confront those hidden fears and phobias we know nothing about do things that scare us have to be outed taboo subject and fronted in line of question so this poem suggests that we can take all the fears of life challenges and come through smiling with positive approaches and working our best so that is all about this poem i hope you have understood not whole and all things about this poem but most of the important things you must have known that's all thank you thanks for watching